In the previous video, we added a subprogram that contains the code for when the tool follows this over, and we have three step overs so with three subprograms where each step over takes it in closer. What we didn't do was add the depth of cut to the subprogram. So, in this video, I want to demonstrate how I will alter the subprogram so that I can repeat it twice and have the depth of cut there. First thing I'll do is click here and I'll add an L2 which means repeat this subprogram twice. Next, I'm going to change this initial depth here to zero, so it feeds to the top of the part. And because I'm repeating this subprogram twice, I'm going to delete this code. So before I go into the subprogram, I'm in absolute mode. I'm in Geo 1 and I'm fed to Z0 at 50 inches a minute. So now let's go look at how we'll alter this subprogram so it can repeat twice and maintain the depth of cut. So I'll scroll down, and here's the subprogram. First thing I'm going to do is push enter, and I need it to move deeper. And what I'm after is each time I run the sub, I would like it to move half the depth of cut. So half the depth of cut is 0.2125 because I'm going 0.425 total. This is also a Z value and it'll be negative, so I'll add that. Let's go back here. And how can I get it to move down this roughly 200 thou each time? Well, I'm going to tell it to do that incrementally. So I'm going to say incrementally, you're in the Geo 1 mode, feed to this depth. And the rest of this was written in absolute. So I'm going to have to click here and add a G90. So now the remainder of the subprogram is as it always was. And let's just look at what will happen. Incrementally, it'll move down to the first depth of cut. And that's good. Here it will do my cut. In absolute, it's going to wrap it back to Z1, reposition, and now it's going to feed to 100 thou above the part. So the next cut, if I let it repeat, will actually be only be negative 0.1125. And that's not what we want. So I need to alter the end of this, and I'm going to alter the end of this to also wrap it to Z0 in absolute. And then I'm going to put it into the feed mode, and I'm going to feed to where I just cut, Z minus 0 0.2125. So at the end of the first time through, it'll be here, and then it's going to repeat the sub-program. It will come up here, and oops, I meant to put this. I'll just cut it on this line and paste it because I can't have G90 and 91 on the same line that's conflicting information. So. so the second time through it starts at this Z, feeds down another Z and then repeats and then it comes out of this program and it will return to where it left off here to do the second cut. So before we go any further let's refresh that plot. Everything looks good and let's just play it and make sure it works okay. So I'm going to play it. I'll pause it here so here we can see when we ran it, we are at the proper depth. We'll close this, and I'll keep stepping it through. It's going to come back. It's going to feed down. I'll just zoom out a bit so we can see our little ticker here. We keep stepping it through. It's fed down now to the next depth of cut. So it's here, negative 0.425. I'll close that, and I'll let it play again, and it takes the second depth of cut as we can see at our proper depth. So we keep stepping it through, comes back up, goes through the subprogram, back to the start of this subprogram, to Z0, and then down to our depth of cut. And then we return to the main program, to the line immediately after this. I'll just delete this space, and it jumps up to Z.1. So as written, there will be a bit of jumping around of the Z, but that's okay. In a later sub-program, we'll look at how to get rid of that. And I've gone ahead and I've altered these to repeat twice and added the same code to the beginning and end of these two subs. We'll just refresh the plot, make sure it looks good, and it does. So I'll save my work and continue.